What is up peeps? This is La Elite and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Remake for the PC. You know in the descriptions down below, I think I'm going to have to start putting a link in to show people that this is a remake um, for the PC. You know I think a lot of people only know that it came out on the PS1 and maybe people think that this is the PS4 version but I don't know why because that's coming out in what November December somewhere around there anyway in the last episode we went to a town called Gungaga and um, we got a new material Titan that we will be seeing soon and we found out, out about a guy named Zack Eris's first love but now we're here at this little town on the side of a rock so let's go ahead and check this place out Cosmo Canyon I am home it is I Nanaki hey Nanaki you're safe come on and say hello to Bujin Hajin Nanaki I think I'm pronouncing that name right. Not not a key with the the Bujin Hajin. Okay. Let's find out what's going on here. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Well, if we tell him yes, you lied. That is something that is not treated lightly here in Cosmo Canyon. How do you know I lied? Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> we have to tell him no. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Woo! I always wanted to come here. Um, I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you in on. <clears throat> they helped me when I was on the road. So please let them in. <clears throat> oh, is that so? You helped or not a key? Please come in. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Nanaki. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here. But my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? <clears throat> yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherit from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. Hey, Nanaki, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Let's rest for a bit. There are some things I want to find out about anyway. Okay, let's... Tasty cocktails, pub starlet, <clears throat> fluffy beds, and Shad... Shadera Inn? <laughs> Come in today. It's right near Cosmo Candle. <clears throat> Okay, um, we'll go to those places later, but now, well, we got Tiger Lily's Arm Shop. I don't, can't afford anything here yet. Oh, welcome. The people of this canyon hate to compete, so almost everything here are replicas. But that's alright. Some of them you really can use. Yeah, I can, but I really can't afford more than one at the moment. But we have a flyer right here. Turtles Paradise Newsletter, number four. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact the Turtles Paradise. Long hours of boredom. Sound like fun. <clears throat> Um, in here, if you brought Barrett with you, there's a glitch um, that 
you can use to do a certain thing with Barret later on in Gold Saucer. I will be showing that off. I will be showing it off with everyone you can do it with. Um, but the glitch, you talk to him. There was this guy who studied planetary life here. He couldn't take things they were, the way they were. So he went to Midgar to form Avalanche. Want to hear more? Well, you tell him go on. Yet you could say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here. And finally, I made it. A lot's happened. Well, you tell him, yeah, whatever. And then you leave the room. You come back in. And you can repeat this process. Um, as many, time as you, many times as you want. To do the thing with buried in gold saucer. But like I said, I will be showing that off later. So I'm just going to say, and then? And then? I don't know what's going to happen. Now that there is no avalanche. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. Alright, so let's go find Red on Nanaki. Bujin Hajin sealed this door shut. How'd he do that? With super glue? We got a kitchen down here. Oh man, I'm so busy. I need more help. I won't complain. <laughs> I believe there's a shop down here. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> so, you forgot your change. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm coming. Are you here to shop? That's right. Oh, is that so? You're here to shop? I'm sorry. We hardly ever get any customers. Oh, but I do have confidence in our materia. <clears throat> we got Mystify and Transform. But MP plus and HP plus. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, I can't get them now. I don't got the money. <clears throat> but shortly I should have enough money hopefully um, I believe there's nothing out here it's just I guess if you want to look at Cosmo Canyon again um, there you go <laughs> so let's head on up the ladder To this observatory. Um, there's one thing that always kind of bugged me about this little picture here is you might notice over here is a mailbox. How do we expect to get mail over there? I mean, yeah, I guess they can go through the gate, but the only way to get here is through this ladder. So it would kind of make more sense if it was, you know, right here, but. <laughs> Oh, that always kind of bugged me, just sitting out there. Anyway, anyway, let's head in. <clears throat> Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bugen. He is incredible. He knows everything. Ho, ho, ho! I hear that you looked after Nadaki. Nadaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Ho ho ho! Nadaki's tribe has incredible longevity. You s so you see, his 48 years would only be equivalent, uh, <clears throat> equivalent <laughs> to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quite. He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and be able to protect you in the village. Ho ho ho! No, not a key. You can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. 
reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Ho ho ho! It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ho ho ho! That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt. I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ho ho ho! To save the planet! Ho ho ho! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt him to show him. Bujin Hajin! Several odd looking people are here. The whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in grandfather's machine. Oh. <clears throat> I think I was red talking. All right, so let's go find somebody. Well, we can go and talk to um, Caitlin, whatever her name is. Kate. Sit. What did they say? And yeah, we can pick everyone here. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to find everyone and then... See what they all had to say, because I, I really never checked on them, see what they all say. So, let's look around for them. Yuffie's over here in the material shop. God, I hate studying. Oh, oh. <laughs> Beard, of course, is back here. What? Over here at the end, we got Eris and Tifa. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, let's take Tiff. Hmm? <laughs> she turned her head the other way. Okay, let's take a hotel. Is that so? You brought not a key back here. Yeah, thanks. How about our original cocktail, Cosmo Candle? A drink now and then is good for you. It re relax you a bit, if you know when to stop. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's anything back here. Oh, it's... Here's red. Don't worry about me. I've seen it many times. I haven't been back for a while. Let me rest a for a bit. Okay. I wonder where he went to. Well, since we're in here, come up here and we got another flyer back here we don't want to miss. To the paradise number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please, please stop it. And the total paradise. Brain fart. Anyway, um, we got to end here, but I. have don't need a rest at the moment. I believe back here we got a hidden item. Yes, elixir. Alright. 
Well, I guess we can talk to people out here. Talk to this kid. Yeah, Nanaki! Nanaki's back! It's all thanks to this flame. The fire is called Cosmo Candle. It has burned for generations. It is a holy flame that protects this canyon. I heard it only went out once, long ago. The elder says something horrifying occurred, but I really don't know much else about it. Oh, so it's kind of like the Olympic flame. So this is Cosmo Canyon. Quite a mysterious place. Have you come to seek study, seek the study of planet life? Um, no. Oh, really? There really isn't much else to see here. What do you got to say if I say the first thing? That's it. Yeah? I heard there is an awesome observatory here. I'd like to see it if I have a chance. Well, it's, I guess it's alright. <clears throat> well, since we're down here, let's head up to the shop. See what they got. Hello. Looking for anything in particular? Hmm. Only got three. Uh, uh, that's fine. Well, not really. So let's head back up to Bujin Hajin. Here, over here. The door's unlocked. Come in. Ho ho ho! It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I'll stand here. This is one place I like to see in um, the remake for the PS4. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm. Yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All the workings of space are entered into a 3D hologram holographic system. Hey, a shooting star! Wow, how wonderful. Ho ho ho, yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. But what about those, their consciousness, their hearts, and their souls? The soul to return to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge, merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide becoming a swell called the life stream life stream in other words a path of energy of souls roaming the planet spirit energy is a word that you should never forget a new life children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world then the time comes when they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are expe expe exceptions there. <laughs> but this is the way of the world. I digress, but you'll understand better if you watch this.
Spirit energy is a source of life for trees, birds, and humans, and not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. And if that spirit energy were to disappear, These are the basic of study of the study of planet life. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Ho ho ho, spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. I had to stop for a minute there. When spirit energy is forceful, forcefully extracted and manufactured, it cannot accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Ning it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. The story of the planets and those who live within them are with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. Huh. Not a key? His father a coward? So that's it. Not a key's been thinking that all this time. All right. <clears throat> so let's go down and see if we can talk to the elders, see what they got to say. Well, we do know where one is. And that's behind what, Lily's weapon or arm shop. Let's see if he has anything to say. Ah, here it is. My job is to gather all the legends and the knowledge of the planet to make a book. Then even when I return to the planet, the children may still be taught about many things hmm oh we have guests good good I know I know you came to ask me something right am I right it's about the promised land the promised land so what do you want to know there is no place called the promised land that's what I believe no no it does exist hmm you can say that. In other words, it doesn't exist for us. But it did it for the ancients. The promised land is the resting place of the ancients. The life of the ancients is one continuous journey. A journey to grow trees and plants, raise animals, and make Mako energy. Their harsh journey continued throughout their lives. The place they return to after the long journey. The brutal land is the promised land. Huh? Suppressed supreme happiness? I believe that for the ancients, it was the moment that they were able to return to the planet. That moment when they were released from their fate and gained their supreme happiness. At least that's what I believe. I really don't know whether or not is true. By the way, those that came with you are all at the cos By the way, those that came with you are all at the Cosmo Candle. Are you leaving? <clears throat> ah. Actually I think that's it looks like a little an old lady. <laughs> Kinda gave 
kind of manly voice. Anyway, so she said they're all down here at Cosmo Candle. What a boring, boring place. Just as I, just like I thought. I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Cosmo Cannon, this is where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday, when we save the planet from the Shinra, that we all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. Now they're all gone, died for the planet. Really? To save the planet? We all... We all hated the Shinra, but is it right to go on? Will they, will they ever forgive me? Right now, I really don't know, but I do know one thing. If there's anything I can do to save the planet, or the people living on it, then I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever. I don't care. Ah, I'm gonna do it. Again, again. Avalanche is born. Avalanche is born again. Huh. Barrett got all hyped up. That's what Kate has to say. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. I learned a lot. The elders taught me many things about the Centra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm all alone now. But I'm. We're here for you, right? I know. I know. But I am the only Centra. Does that mean we can't help? Hmm. Clown. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, Clown, five years ago, it's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really... Really are you, right? Huh. Strange thing to ask. Long ago, when I was still very small, we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I am full of pride and joy. And that's fine. But when I think of, of my father, my heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father. Of course, he left our mother for dead. <clears throat> he left mother for dead. When the guy, when the guy, <clears throat> when the Gi tribe attacked, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. He ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, not a key. There's something you should see. The place may be dangerous. Cloud, will you and one other person come with us? <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna take Eris. But, before I go with him, 
There was a reason in last episode why I didn't bring the buggy up here. And this is the reason. We, um, well, Shinra is attacking Fort Conyard once again. So I'm going to go over there and defend it again. For the fifth time? So yeah, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to fast forward it. So you, we really don't have to sit through all of that. Because it is kind of slow paced. But yeah, I'm going to go do that. And I'll see you guys back here. Okay, so our reward for defending Fort Kanye once again was five high potions. It said five potions, but actually it was high potions that we got. And Cloud went up two levels, Red went up two, and Eris actually went up three. And I believe we got Restore level two now. Yeah. But with that, I am going to end this here, because if I keep going on here in Cosmo Canyon, it's going to be like over an hour and a half, maybe. I don't know. So, in the next episode, 
we're going to see what Bugen, Bu, Bugen Heidegen, uh whatever his name is, wanted to show us. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you did. Appreciate all you guys, gals, homies for subscribing to my channel and checking out my videos. But until next time, peeps, homies, peace.